inside the nine here in Blackpool. I am on the promenade just by the North Pier here. And as I move around, hopefully the camera will follow me. I've got this fancy uh, track, face track thing enabled. So uh, yeah, um, we're now out of the main season, I believe. The kids have all gone back to school. I think they might not have all gone back to school, but it's certainly a lot quieter in Blackpool. Middle of the week, it's a Wednesday evening as I'm filming this. We're just coming up to sunset. There goes a tram. Is it following me? This, is, this way, this way. <laughs> it's not very reliable, that face tracking thing. But anyway, this is shenanigans just behind me. And it's actually banging in shenanigans. Well, it's not banging, but it's certainly quite lively in there. There's a lot of people in there. You can hear, some, hear someone singing. Is it, is it karaoke that they've got in there? Or do they have professional singers? I don't know. But uh, the one thing about Blackpool is that it might be out of the main season now and all the kids have gone back to school, but it won't be long before we have, um, what is it, uh, half term or something like that. It won't be too long before they're back on holiday again and they'll all be looking to come on holiday to Blackpool again. But um, the thing about Blackpool as well, compared to a lot of other resorts, is it is all year round. You can come here and the piers will be open in the middle of winter there'll be pubs and clubs open just like there are in the summer the only thing you probably won't find open is the pleasure beach because obviously the pleasure beach has very limited time these days doesn't it but there you go uh, it doesn't matter what time of year you come to blackpool you'll always find something open something to do can you hear the music coming from shenanigans as we look at blackpool tower which is just starting to light up the time is around about half past seven here on Blackpool Promenade, just over here. Oh, the view is amazing. And we've got a one-legged seagull here. Is it a one-legged seagull? Or is it just hiding its other leg? I think it could just be hiding its other leg. What do you think? But as we look round, look at this. Oh, come on. Wouldn't you just love to be here in Blackpool? right now. I might have a look on the other side of the pier because you do get a, a bit better view on the other side but uh, the view today is spectacular. We've had a bit of rain lately and the rain always clears the air and it just makes it so, so much clearer to see across the Irish Sea from Blackpool. Let's have a look across the road here. So we've got Yates's there, of course. Now, don't forget that Yates's is inside the old Feldman's Arcade building. Yeah, it was an old musical, that back in the olden days. Yeah, Feldman's Arcade. And just over here, we've got shenanigans. Don't forget, they've got the strip club as well upstairs. How are you doing? You all right? Are you? Live right now? Not live, no, just doing the video. Yeah. Have a good one, yeah. Bro. Thank you. Speaking to someone there behind. Yeah, Shenanigans is looking pretty busy. There you go. And uh, as time goes on, it's getting a bit darker. We might even have the illuminated tram come up here. So if you want to see the illuminated tram, the Great Western train tram, keep watching the video. We'll hopefully catch it coming up this way later on. You know, it's changing all the time. I just wanted to show you this now. The sun has now just come out of that cloud. There's a bank of cloud just above the horizon, but the sun has just come out of it. As it goes down, it'll, be, uh, it'll probably be setting in around about 20 minutes from now, as I film right now, but just look at that. Can, just look at the difference now compared to when I filmed that just a few minutes ago. It's amazing, isn't it? The light is changing all the time. And every sunset in Blackpool is different. I'm just going to the other side of the pier so we can get a better look at the horizon. I've just bumped into some fans from Scotland, Angela and Ian from Air. So shout out to them as another tram comes along. Uh, I think that tram's going to, uh, it's going north. It's not making the turn. I think. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Have they stopped trams going to North Station after 7 p.m.? I think they might have done. I heard that they have. If anybody knows, put it in the comments. But we'll just head past the North Pier. And we'll have a look on the other side, shall we? Well, I tell you what, we're not short on trams here in Blackpool. But as we look this way towards the Clifton Hotel there, 
just look at that golden light there. I, I love this time of the day when the sun is showing just before it sets because you get that really, really nice light. Looking into Talbot Square now towards Premier Inn there. Will they ever fix that clock on the Premier Inn? I don't think they will, will they? Anyway, let's have a look on the other side of the North Pier, shall we? I've just bumped into some more fans there, just outside the North Pier. June and Brian from East Kilbride in Scotland. Some more Scottish fans. I can't, I can't walk hardly anywhere without bumping into people now, but I tell you what, the sun is getting even lower now. I'm just on the other side of the North Pier. Let's go and see what it's like from this side, shall we? Wow, it looks amazing. Now then, check this out. Looking up there towards the Lake District. It is uh, shrouded in quite a bit of cloud, but we can just about see the Barrow in Furness area there with Black Coombe just up there. We can see all the wind farms, all the wind turbines, should I say. I think I can even see the Isle of Man. Just about see it. I don't know if it's going to show up. Let's zoom in a little bit, shall we? I can just about see the Isle of Man. So that kind of tells you how clear it is. But uh, this is the main event, folks. Just look at that for a sunset. Wow right beyond the North Pier. So it looks like the sun is about to go into another cloud just above the horizon. What an amazing sight. And you know what? I can't believe I'm just here by the beer monster shelter here, the closest one to the North Pier, and there are no beer monsters. There are no beer monsters to watch this amazing sunset. Can you believe it? Wow. Well, there might not be any beer monsters in the shelters here, but I just had the massive whiff of cannabis there as I was stood by that shelter. My goodness, what a stench. You can smell it all over Blackpool, especially on the promenade. I can hear sirens, it's kicking off in Blackpool. Oh, it's just an ambulance. Nice Doppler shift. Well, it's definitely lighting up now here in Blackpool. Can you see the tower there? It's starting to light up. And that was Wednesday, Wednesday evening. What a spectacular sunset. Absolutely amazing, yeah. You can't beat a Blackpool sunset, can you? And it's actually pretty busy as well, I think. Well, just out of the season now, I think most of the kids have gone back. It'll probably be bustling again at the weekend because obviously we've got the lights on if i manage to catch the great western train tram i'll stick it in at the end of the video but if you like this video hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos and i'll see you again on the next one